This video is meant for mature audiences. So later today we have a state of play coming from PlayStation made specifically for Japanese publisher reveals, and that last part seems to be making a lot of people think we are getting a Resident Evil 4 remake reveal in today's state of play. However I have to be blunt, I don't think Resident Evil 4 remake is appearing in today's state of play for a number of reasons, but I would love to be wrong as later this month the remake for the original Resident Evil turns 20. First off as I said on Twitter yesterday which if you don't follow me there, check it out in the link in the description below. But as I mentioned that we are due for the Mercenaries update for Resident Evil 4 VR on Oculus Quest 2 sometime this year which is most likely in the first half of 2022. I really don't see Capcom trying to market the Mercenaries DLC with Facebook and market Resident Evil 4 Remake with Sony at the same time. The other is besides the 2015 Facebook reveal of Resident Evil 2 Remake, Capcom doesn't like to reveal games too far out from release since 2016. I know Pragmata kind of breaks this but COVID most likely delayed that out of this year but Resident Evil 7 was revealed 7 months before release. Mega Man 11 was about 10 months before release. Devil May Cry 5 was about 9 months before release. Resident Evil 3 Remake was about 5 months before release. Resident Evil 8 Village was about 11 months before release, and that game was most likely planned to release before April last year, in 2021. All signs point to with COVID going on and Resident Evil 4 Remake supposedly having development issues I doubt the game will be ready for release by March of 2023, and I think Capcom will try to get it out by summer of 2023, but it will be delayed further, and will be a January 2024 game instead. So I don't think Capcom will intentionally reveal Resident Evil 4 Remake too early just because Pragmata and possibly Street Fighter 6 are going to break this cycle of release not too long after. Reveal. I think the most we see from Capcom at this event is Resident Evil 8 DLC possibly, or maybe an unannounced game that's releasing in early 2023. But since Street Fighter 6 was revealed last month I don't think Capcom will show too much or anything at this show. Honestly it is the 35 year anniversary of Final Fantasy, so I see Square Enix taking most of the spotlight at this show. They could give us a new Final Fantasy 16 trailer with release date, or reveal 7 Remake Part 2. It is also Final Fantasy 7's 25th anniversary this year. It's also Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary this month, so I think maybe a reveal of the 4th game could happen possibly? But I think with all these insider talks about Metal Gear and how that series turns 35 this year as well I think we see a new Metal Gear revealed for PlayStation 5. Also I think Hideo Kojima's next game could be revealed here, but that might be saved for the summer. Anyway I'm sticking to my prediction of Resident Evil 4 Remake being revealed between June and September this year at a PlayStation showcase. I also predicted it could've show up at E3 but that doesn't seem to be happening this year for a 2023 release, but gets delayed to January 2024. I would love to be wrong, and it is showed off and it is coming later this year. It would be cool to see God of War vs Resident Evil 4 again like we did in 2005, for Game of the Year. That being said I am currently taking breaks from serious video editing on both my channels, but plan on recording my reactions to the event, if anything cool is shown. I hope to see some awesome stuff, and I have been enjoying Horizon Forbidden West a lot lately, and have put around 40 hours in so far, and hope God of War, and the eventual Resident Evil 4 remake get just as much playtime from me. What are games you hope to see at the state of play, and do you think I am wrong and Resident Evil 4 will show up? Do you think something out of left field will happen and Sony purchases Capcom and makes Resident Evil and Monster Hunter exclusive to PlayStation? I hope we see the announcement of classic games from PS1 to PS3, and even Sony's handhelds the PSP and V to get backwards compatibility soon on PS5. Have a great day and I hope to enjoy the state of play with everybody. Special thanks to naturalreaders.com. Thank you all so much for watching.